In today's video, what we're gonna be doing is just going over some simple but effective rotoscope effects that you guys could add to your video. You guys have really been loving the rotoscope tutorials lately, so I just thought I would keep it up. If you guys have any suggestions on videos that you guys want to see in the future from me, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. But let's go ahead and get into it. So what I have here is I have laid out three clips. So these are the clips that we're gonna do our effects on. I went ahead and rotoscoped my subjects already. If you don't know how to rotoscope, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a video in the description below. You can also use After Effects to rotoscope your clips, but I use AI, I find it more effective but you guys can do it however you want. So this first clip is gonna be a clip of Yeet and I'm gonna show you guys a super cool sliding background effect. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and just find where we wanna do our effect right here. So let's choose right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut here. It's gonna be super simple like that. So what we're gonna do is go to our effects tab. Then you're gonna go ahead and go to the effects panel and go to the search bar. And then we're gonna type in offset. And we're gonna go ahead and drag this onto our timeline. What we're gonna do is go ahead and make some keyframes, right? So this clip, is about a second long so what i want to do is go ahead and toggle on this shift to center stopwatch we're going to go ahead and drag this keyframe all the way to the beginning then what we want to do is just kind of go towards the end and we're going to go ahead and toggle on this so we're going to move to the right a couple times and what we want to do is just kind of make sure when we end up stopping it um yeet or our subject is in the center so i'm going to go one more and then just get it in there as much as you can and then what we're going to go ahead and do is just toggle on this one right here the blend with original drag our first keyframe here make another keyframe and bring it to about you know midway go ahead and finish dragging this one over here and then what we're going to do is go ahead and toggle this all the way up to 100 and then we're going to go ahead and drag it like that so this is what it should look like for now so right now it's just a dope little sliding effect but as you can see, the edges are super harsh and we really don't want that. So what we're gonna do next is go ahead and type in fast blur. We're gonna go ahead and drag it onto our timeline now. And we're gonna just toggle on the blur dimensions. We're just gonna make those horizontal. Uh, and then we're just gonna toggle up the blurriness. So let's go like 150. That looks pretty solid. So what we're gonna do is go to our center, go ahead and toggle on the stopwatch icon to activate keyframes. Then go ahead and just go to the beginning, press reset. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to the end and press reset again. We'll Let's go ahead and preview what we have. It's looking a little better. So what I actually wanna do is go ahead and put our 150 right here. And we're gonna go ahead and make another 150 keyframe right here, just so the edges are not so sharp. So that's looking a lot better. And if you like that, you can, you know, you can go ahead and stick with that. That's just a simple um, offset, a sliding background transition. But you can also go back to your effects panel and we'll go ahead and type in Les Distortion. We'll go ahead and drag this onto our clip right now. We're gonna go ahead and locate the center. We're gonna change the curvature to negative 30. And we're gonna go ahead and toggle on the stopwatch icon. Go a little bit to the left. We're gonna reset the parameter. Go a little bit to the right, reset the parameter, and then drag this all the way to the end and drag that one all the way to the beginning. And now if we play it back, you guys will see we have a simple sliding rotoscope background effect so let's go ahead and check that out so super simple add some dynamic to your video and you can use this however you want and you can speed it up slow it down however you want and if you guys are enjoying the video so far don't forget to subscribe to the channel i post new videos every week also turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video and follow me on instagram because i do tend to drop sneak peeks of my newest preset packs and also you get early access to new drops as well now let's get back to the video then the next one we're going to do a simple white glowing flash flicker and you can do that really fast so what we're going to go ahead and do is just locate our effects panel and we're going to type in levels we're going to go ahead and drag that onto our top layer and what we're going to do is we're going to make a simple flicker in the middle of our clip we're gonna locate our white input level on the levels. And we're gonna go ahead and make some keyframes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and toggle on the stopwatch icon. And for every other frame, we're gonna go ahead and skip. We're gonna skip this one. And then we're gonna go here and make a keyframe, skip make a keyframe skip make a keyframe skip and then here we're going to go ahead and type in zero right we have our subject or central seat going white every other one all the gaps just turn those to zero then we have one more left turn that to zero so we should play that back and you'll see what it looks like so you just have a simple flicker and one thing that you guys can do to make it look a little better is add some softness or some blur to it so what we'll do is go ahead and go to uh, fast blur again go ahead and drag this onto our clip and we're going to do the same thing so for every other frame we're going to add some blurriness to it let's just go ahead and this one's going to be toggled off and then on the white that's where we're going to add the blur right so as you can see there's the softness or the glow so let's go ahead and just make it 50 right go ahead and reset 
reset. So now we should have a dope flash flicker glow effect. Let's go ahead and preview that. So really cool glow effect and it's simple. You guys can use this just to add some emphasis to your video. It doesn't need to be long. And the next thing that you guys can do is you can actually make a simple glow. This is similar to my aura pack. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate our clip actually. So duplicate your rotoscope layer. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab the fast blur again. Go ahead and drag that onto your clip. And we're just gonna go ahead and raise that to 150 again. You can already see he has the glow effect on him already. So what you guys can do we just go ahead and navigate to tint and go ahead and place that there and then you can go map to black make it whatever color you want i just chose red and as you can see you have a simple glow effect in seconds so that's pretty cool if you want to turn down the glow obviously lower the blurriness simple glow effect like that if you haven't already checked out my aura pack you can get tons of super dope glow effects that you can add behind your clip and it has a super sick aura look to it so check this out guys so this is my aura pack and as you guys can see if you compare it to the simple glow effect that we did this one is much more cleaner and you can see all the waves and the movement and the noise in it so it looks way better so if you want that pack you can go ahead and get that in the link description below also i dropped the free stream rotoscope pack not too long ago you can just make simple clones in seconds so let's just go ahead and leave the flash on there so go ahead and check this out right here just like that. And that's with the simple flash flicker that we did. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was super quick. I just want to show you guys a few quick rotoscope effects that you can add to your next video that can actually add some dope stylizations to your video. Also, if you guys want to check out my newest preset packs, the freeze frame rotoscope preset pack or the aura effects presets, those are both going to be in the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I do drop new videos every week. Also turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video. And that's going to be it for me guys. Peace. <laughs>